All right, this is the second part of that compiz tutorial thing. Um, I'm just going to continue on with uh, with the settings. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it up to the way I usually have it on my own. And by doing this, you can see how you uh, set up each animation individually. So go back to your compiz setting manager here, and uh, go right here where it says animations. And I have this set at random, but I don't like you know for everything to be random, like all you know in my face, all this, uh, all these different types of animations. I just like a select few. So I'm gonna pick vacuum and sidekicks cool, uh, glide ones cool, and skewer. That one's nice, and maybe one more. Mm. I think I think it's fold. Fold is nice. All right, so those are my open animations, and they're gonna be random of these four. And uh, let's see, my closing animation. I'm gonna leave it at burn, but uh, I like to change the setting of that one. So let's go all the way over here to little arrow. Keep clicking it till you get to animation effects, and uh, look for the burn tab. Keep going down. Where is it at? Did I just pass it. Curve, fold, dodge, glide, glide two, horizontal folds, magic lamp. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I know where it's at. Go back. The burn animation is actually in your animation add-ons. Okay. So let's uh oh there it is right there. Burn. Alright. I don't really care for the red color. So I'm just gonna go for like a, a white or like a gray. And uh the, it doesn't really matter how dark the color is you put, it's gonna like lighten it up a little bit, you know, because it's like fire I guess. So that's fine. Press OK. And since my laptop isn't a really powerful machine, uh graphic wise. So if you overdo these sliders, it's gonna really make your machine sluggish. And uh, so I'm just gonna lower down the uh, the particle size and the number of particles just to keep it, you know, less stressful on the machine. And down here, uh, it says consistent speed or randomly color fire. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks like sparklers, I guess. Let me see if it'll work. Let me open up a folder. It might work. I might have to log out and log back in, but there it goes. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it was kind of multicolored. Let's try that one more time. There it goes. Um, yeah, but I'd rather not. Anyways, I'm going to add smoke to it. Just little black uh, smoke, I guess, after it burns. It's kind of a cool effect. I mean, it's useless, but it's nice. <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh, the uh, skewer effect, which is the uh, the zooming in and out, like multi-polygonal, like, things when you open up a folder, if it, if it does it right now. No, I didn't do it, that's the fold. Anyways, you can, you can change the amount of uh, blocks as it zooms in and zooms out. So I'm going to leave it at about, I'm going to add a little bit more, so maybe 8 and 8. And instead of rectangular, then I'm going to put hexagonal. You can choose in and out, or left to right, or up and down. How the how the the uh, the little fragments zoom into the screen. So I'm going to leave it like that. And this is going to is going to control the uh, uh, the action of it if it spins as it zooms in or as it zooms out. So I'm going to just leave it like that. That's fine. I don't want to overload this poor little laptop of mine <laughs> alright there's an airplane animation you know they're all adjustable here beam beams actually nice but uh, it's like uh, when you uh, open up a window it like it looks like the little Star Trek you know transporter thing but uh, that's how you adjust it in here you can change the color of it or the speed or how fat the beam or or the the length of it I guess duration all right, and in wobbly windows, this section right here, you can choose the friction rate. So say like, uh, so you drag the windows around, and you let go. 
it has a little bit of a slide to it but not too much it's the friction part right here so if I already like lower the friction quite a bit let's lower it just a little bit more see what it does and throw it one more time there you go see how like it slid like it was on the ice you can change that setting there but I'm gonna leave it normal and the grid resolution is talking about the polygonal um, uh, I guess the number of polygons that that take to render this uh, this this uh, window here I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is so if you put it higher you have a better uh, I guess window resolution see how like when you bend the uh, the window back um, the layout isn't like jagged or like I have a jagged edge on the edge of the uh, on the uh, the window here I guess let me see if I lower it you can kind of get the idea I lower it's about three now see how it's like the the edge of it is not like uh, smooth it has like little parts like it's straight and and jagged and straight again it's kind of pointless I guess because it's just one of those things to make it look better so I'm just gonna raise it up just a little hair anyways let's go back all right let me go back to my standard animations and go back to the the settings here all right all right all right the random animation for all events i guess that's just the uh the actual uh speed of all the animations animations like as soon as you open up a window how fast it you know pops at you i'm gonna leave that default however i like to change the glide the glide I have this for my drop down menu see how it kind of zooms in like this maybe if I go negative what does that do now it comes at me instead of away from me which was this see so I'm going to put that about right there All right. All right. Let me go back to my closing animation tab. All right. So my drop-down menu, it's still like standard as far as closing. So I'm going to change the uh, the closing animation. So right now it's set on fade. I'm going to set it to let's try a uh, glide two and set the duration like 150 and go back to glide 2 what does this do see it kinda goes away when you when it exits when it closes I mean let's try raising it just a bit see what that does see now it's coming at me when it closes So I said it almost similar to the other one, but not as much. Maybe more. There you go. It has like a zoom in and zoom out effect. So that looks nice. I'll leave it like that. The folds, this determines how many uh, uh, folding windows, like when, you're, when you open up a window. How many, I guess, uh, sections of windows that it's going to fold into or fold out of I guess is right here so leave it at about 10 sidekick is nice wave uh, that's an animation where you open up a window and it does like a like um like a wave I guess like a <laughs> like, I don't know I explain it like just like wave <laughs> anyways you control the uh, amplitude of this right here um, it's a cool little animation if you want to try it let's see what else is here there was something in here that was cool put windows if you click on that and then click the put tab 
and we're gonna click on animation. I'm not sorry, animation. Uh, speed. Where was it at? Is this still it? Oh, it wasn't put. I'm sorry. It's. I think it's called move. Oh, there it is. It is already checked. Okay. Yeah. This. Okay. There it is. Lower the opacity on this if you want. And when you move your windows, your windows should have a nice little opacity. Like, let me make a folder in the background. See how you can see the folder? So that looks nice. I mean, it's different. So, I'm going to set it to about 96. It's very faint, but it looks nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, resizing window is pretty cool. I like this one. I don't know if you notice when you resize your window here, it has like a an outline by default. If I can grab the damn edge. There it is. See how the little outline? The window doesn't actually resize until you let go. You can change that if you want. You go to general. See how it says rectangular? You can put outline or normal. Normal is like the you know like Windows, I guess, or a Mac. See how it actually changes. And there's a cool one in here that I kind of like. It's called stretch. There, see how like it, it just stretches the image. So you get make it real big, real small. Then when you let go, it resizes it. So I'm gonna leave it on stretch. Let me go back. And uh, all this right here, I should make another video about this stuff because this is kind of complicated. It's just basically how to to shift your windows around or or um Yeah, I have to change that. I got to go change the settings. I'll do that in the next video. Uh, but anyways, that's just kind of like the basics of uh changing your individual uh uh desktop uh, effects, you know, per window or whatever. If you got any questions, just feel free to ask. I don't mind.